Hey y'all, welcome back to Hopped Up Beer Review. Today, we are drinking the Ruby Soho Grapefruit Lager out of Scob Brewing Company in Durango, Colorado. Thanks for joining us. Hey everybody, welcome to Hopped Up Beer Review, the show where we give you our unprofessional and somewhat biased opinion about the beer we are drinking and reviewing. Be sure to like, subscribe, and cheers to that notification bell, as well as check us out on social media. The links are below, and hey, come say hey in Discord, we would love to see you there <laughs> uh, on our Hopped Up Beer Review chat server. Andy laughs at that every time for some reason. You show uh, them how to say hey before they hey, come say hey in Discord. Hey! <laughs> Hey, I've got Andy in the attic. I've got Jay. I have been. What are we reviewing today? The Ruby Soho. It's out of Sky Brewing, Durango, Colorado. It's a grapefruit lager. I'm thirsty. Let's drink. All right. Oh. Yay, the Colorado beer did not spew. It smells like grapefruit. Oh, yeah. Now, Jay, is this one you have had before, which is why we have it now? Yes, sir. Yep. We have, wow, that is... I have had this many times. Um, visiting Colorado, uh, New Mexico. Um but this one in particular came from a, a friend of mine, brought it from Colorado via New Mexico to Alabama. So nice. Okay. It smells great. Mm -hmm. Very grapefruity. It's, it's one that I've always loved. So I wanted to share with you guys. Cheers, Cheers mates. mates. Man, that's crisp. Yep. So, this is a lager, and they've added grapefruit, evidently, to it. They use uh, Cascade hops in it. It's 5%, 16 IBUs. And that's all the information I could really find on this. They At first, it was almost descri described as they took their base lager and added something else to it, but I couldn't really find uh, any evidence to point towards that. But Scott Brewing, out of Durango, Started in 1995. It's a regional brewery. So the beer names and branding revolve around the ska culture. So that's where they get ska from. Do they have a Skeletons beer? Oh, they do. Do they? I don't know. I'm, I'm asking. I, I, I don't oh, know. I thought you said they did. I'm like, well, Jay could actually tell us more about this brewery than I could find out. That's yeah, never. Sorry, I have to explain. The Skeletons were a, a band that that we had uh, play uh, for us once in uh, Oxford. Uh, and one of our friends, one of our collective friends was a, into ska a lot. And uh, so he brought them there. That's about all I know about ska. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> yeah, they were out of I know nobody cares, but uh, that's, I'll shut up. Go ahead. <laughs> No, I mean, I I really don't know a whole lot about Sky either. It's just one I know it's out of Durango, which is um, uh, it's up in between. You got to go up towards some of the passes. You could go to Durango to Silverton, uh, which is one of the little Bowl Canyon towns, and um, you got to go through several of the passes to get up there. But there's um, uh, it's always been famous like the the short track. Durango to Silverton Railroad is a big thing. Um, so it's neat area of the country. But I, I haven't visited this brewery. It's one I've always wanted to go to. I just haven't had the opportunity to do that. And didn't you share a, a photo? Uh, you were somewhere recently in Colorado and they had a they had a tent up, at least wherever you were at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was in Crested Butte. Um in Crested Butte, they had they had come to um, the Nordic Alpine uh, race. Right. Uh, they do a 
uh, a Nordic skiing race there that's a 5K, 10K, half marathon, marathon, all on Nordic skis. And, uh, but the finish line, uh, Sky was uh, the gen- one of the generous sponsors. They had their, their beer tent set up and they were handing out free beer to the participants and to some of the bystanders. So I'm sure, Ben, you could look back and find that interesting um, head warming <laughs> piece that Jay had when he sent it to us from. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so a lot of the folks dress up for that race, especially the the five kers. He wanted uh, to keep the cold off, the warmth uh, in, and the yes. sun off of his head. Mm-hmm. I remember the yeah. photo. Of that. Yes, I'll, I'll mm-hmm. blast it right here. And was there <laughs> particularly? Do you have a condition where like your your waist gets chillier than the rest of your body? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I noticed but... you 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 wore something around your waist yeah, to keep warm. Uh, mm-mm, mm-mm. Yeah, I can't recall, recall if there was a, there was a tutu involved, maybe. <laughs> oh, it's a tutu. Oh, I thought it was just like oh. a you have cold hips or something like that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Tutus, yeah. okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, uh, one other thing I'll mention uh, here is that when uh, I was out in Colorado recently, I got a mix pack uh, from Ska Brewing. So we'll have that coming up uh, in the not too distant future uh, reviews for that. So not too close future the way things are going in either. the future. <laughs> yeah. In the future. <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll be, we'll be definitely uh, trying some more from this brewery. So excited about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, have you had anything from, from Ska, Andy? No, nah. no, nah, from Ska. Not from Ska, nor have I. Oh, All right. You didn't even drink it while you were out there. I didn't. I mean, uh, I, I, saving always... yourself, Ben. Look at that self control. Uh, yeah. Remaining I, ska I, celibate. I didn't. I mean, I've had probably half a dozen room to a dozen of their different beers, just including ones slurp. that are in, in the mix pack. So he just throws it around for ska. All right. Well, uh, let's move right along and go ahead and rate <laughs> this one. Um, I'll go first. Um, I was definitely expecting the grapefruit taste to come through more. Um, it comes through when you pour it out of the can uh, and, and you know, it hits the nose. It's definitely, you think you're getting into a really big grapefruit beer. And um, I mean, the grapefruit taste is there, but I think, uh, Andy, I think the, the best description you, you probably mentioned was that it was almost like it was their regular lager that they added some flavor to uh and i think that's kind of how it comes across for me that it's not it doesn't seem to be a beer that they made specifically to be grapefruit i guess it's almost like it was added to uh potato potato maybe but uh that's the way it comes across to me um and it kind of leaves me wanting a little more grapefruit um to be honest uh I do get grapefruit peel on the back end uh, a little bit, um, but um, I, I kind of wish it was even more than than it is. Um, so for that reason, for me, it's it's okay. Um, it, it's it's uh, you know it it's not as good as I was hoping. Let's put it that way um, for me. Uh, so, but I like grapefruit and beer. I know Andy, it's not your favorite thing necessarily, but all that being said, I'm going to give it a six and a half. Well, my turn and I'm going to disappoint you, Ben. I don't (laughs) You do all the time. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Get ready. Here we go again. Stay inconsistent. Yep. I don't mind flavor of grapefruit i don't like that bitter grapefruit peel and so i was curious about what i was going to get from this knowing we were going to a grapefruit lager but i just get that that juicy flavor of a grapefruit and not the bitter peel aftertaste fortunately being a lager it's cold crisp very refreshing and it's got that nice you know subtle grapefruit citrus taste it reminds me of putting a lime in a Mexican lager mm-hmm. doing this. I like it. And I wish I could get more of it because this is, this is really good. Um, and I was very thankful not to get that bitter taste, which I, I wouldn't expect from a lager, but you just never know when you, when you're going to get it. So it's so technically not the ale, 
which would perhaps be a little more bitter and hoppy, but Mm -hmm. I like it. Seven and a half. Yeah. You kind of see why I I like it. And it's one that I seek out. I mean, it's Mm -hmm. crisp, easy drinking, crushable. I'm almost done. Uh, Yeah, me too. I mean, it's, it's one that I really like. Um, I'll recall back, uh, you know, one of the, one of the times they had told me, you know, they, they the bottom of the ski slopes in one of the areas there, I think right in Durango, they don't have ski slopes in Durango. It's, it's an area they call purgatory. It's about 20 minutes outside of Durango is where the ski slopes are. But they had told me they put Adirondack chairs at the base of the mountain and they have a little beer tent where you can go get beer and just hang out in the Adirondack chairs and see people coming off the slopes or meet them or whatever. So I always thought that was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, th- this to me is, is an eight. I, I I love it. It's one, like I said, I, I try to get it when I can or get people to get it for me when they can. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, um, uh, it's, it's easy and good. So I'm glad I could share it. Sorry. It disappointed you, Ben. I, I get grapefruit through and through and even on, on the backside with a little bit of, of, of gas when I, uh, I have to belch. So. <laughs> yeah I, I mean it's definitely everything you said it is both of you said it is it's definitely clean crisp i mean I, even so i've almost drank all of mine yeah i was just hoping as a grapefruit lager just for I that smack uh, you want more i really satisfied. wanted to disappoint he, Andy. he wanted it to be a sour you know that's exactly <laughs> there was, you, go. I was like you wanted excited. you wanted me to be unhappy with it but, and make bitter bitter face of, of all the disappointments that you know you have come this way from you i was hoping to get some back mm. so that is going to give us a 7.3 for the ruby b soho grapefruit lager from ska brewing um Definitely a clean, crisp beer, and you should definitely give it a shot if you can find it and let us know what you think about it, if you have had it or do get a chance to try it. Uh, We would definitely like to hear your thoughts as well. Um, Also, come by and say hey in Discord, and you can tell us there if you happen to have had the Ruby B Soho. Check us out on social media. Like, subscribe, and cheers that notification bell. For Andy in the Attic and Jay, I am Ben. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates. Cheers, mates.